Hi, Lawn Mowing people. What I'm going to talk about today is whether a Lawn Mowing Business Partnership is a good idea or not. Now, how to decide if a Lawn Mowing Business is right for you. Now, at some point in your journey, maybe at the beginning, maybe halfway through, uh, you might decide that you might want a business partner. Now, how do you go about doing, doing this and how do you find a business partner? And you could do this while you're setting up or even after you've been running for a while, or you possibly even had an offer out of the blue. I've seen that happen. And so how do you manage the process and is it a good idea? Now, if you're looking at um, growing uh, an existing business or starting a business, a partnership can be a really good way of growing your business really fast. It can supercharge your business. And taking on a business partner can be an exciting move for a business. And here's a few tips I'm going to tell you that will help you decide on whether a partnership is the right move for you. Now, the benefits of having a partner in a lawn mowing business is one, you can divide up tasks and responsibilities so no one's overburdened. This is always a great thing, and this allows you to focus on what you're good at. The division of labour also allows you to complete jobs in less time and increase your overall efficiency, so you'll end up earning more money and taking less time. You can also cover different areas such as marketing and customer service. Now, this is a thing that we do here at Gecko Lawns. We've got a partnership, my wife and I, and we have our own separate jobs in the business. I deal with all the calls, all the incoming quotes, and Donna deals with all the financials, and we both do the work. So we have our own things that we do. We did originally, uh, we both used to do bookings in the diary and that didn't work very well because uh, none of us knew what the other person was doing right now at this point in time. So we'd end up double booking. So you know, always good to just have one person in charge of your bookings. Another thing is, is that if you have a partner, then that's another person to network and another person to get out there and help build the business, find the potential clients. Right, so how do you find the right partner for your lawn mowing business? Now, this is the first question that you should be asking yourself. Would I marry this person? I know it sounds like a really strange question, but the thing is, is that you're going to be spending an awful lot of time around the person that, you doing, uh, go, that you're going into partnership with, and you want to make sure that you're compatible. You want to make sure that you share the same goals and objectives, and you're equally committed to the business's success. You can't have someone in halfway in and halfway out. So you need to ask these following questions. Do you and your prospective partners share similar goals and objectives? Do you, are you both equally committed to the success of the business? Do you have the appropriate vehicle and resources to get your business up and running? This is if you're a start off. Another thing to consider is, especially when dealing with a family member or a friend, is what could happen if this goes wrong? If it's a friend, that's not too bad. But if it's a family member, you remember you're going to be seeing them at family do's and barbecues and all sorts of things for years to come. If this went wrong and you had a fallout with them, how is this going to affect the family dynamics? And have a good think about that and play a few scenarios through your head. You think that everything will be okay if this goes wrong, then that's fine. Go ahead and do it. But if you suspect that it may turn really ugly, then it's probably not a not a good idea. Now, another thing is, do you both agree on your roles? You've got to define your roles and you've got to both agree who's doing what. Now, these are common pitfalls to avoid when you're setting up a partnership. Now, you do not want the partnership relying too heavily on one partner. You don't want somebody doing the lion's share of the work unless it's part of the agreement. Make sure that the work is split up equally and you're, and you're both putting in the same amount of work. Now, another common mistake is not putting the partnership structure in writing. You need to do this. You need to write down exactly how this partnership is going to work. Now, another thing is that trust is important in partnerships. So it needs to be somebody that you can trust. And if you don't trust the person 100%, then don't go into a partnership. Now, even if you do trust someone 100%, that doesn't mean that you don't pay attention. Read the end of year reports, read the profit and loss statements, and keep your finger on the pulse of the business, and just make sure that everything's going okay. So how do you manage the structure of a partnership? Now, in a business partnership, first you ensure 
that each other's roles and responsibilities are clearly defined. This should be in the agreement. And you should also clearly understand how you make decisions and how you will resolve disputes. This should also be in the agreement. So you have a set system for dealing with disputes. And also have an exit strategy clearly stated and understood by both parties. So if someone wants to leave the partnership, you know how you're going to go about this process. And another thing is, is have insurance. Uh, if something goes wrong and, uh, and your partner is no longer able to work in the business or, uh, or something bad happens and you're in a position where you need to buy them out, you want to have enough funds. So make sure that you have insurance and the insurance will cover you buying out your partner if you need to. Now tips for making a lawn mowing partnership work. One, be transparent about your expectations. Um, commissions and any uh, any dealings that you're doing be totally open and transparent with your partner because you need to know what's going on you need to build a trusting relationship and you need to keep that going find each other's strength and work on that uh, you don't want to have people working in an area that they're not good at if you're much better in that area so find out what you guys do best and work on your own strengths now in conclusion Hopefully this article has given you a better idea of what it takes to establish a successful lawn mowing business partnership. And now it's up to you to decide if a lawn mowing business partnership is right for you. Get everything lined up, make sure that you uh, know exactly what you're doing and everything should work out 100% if you get everything lined up right in the first place. Remember, uh, you can join the Lawn Mowing 101 membership by just searching Lawn Mowing 101 backslash membership in the search engine you'll find us and in the membership you'll learn everything about how to grow a lawn mowing business make more money every year without ha actually having to work any harder right so uh, that's everything i've got to say today so uh, remember get out there uh, have fun and happy lawn mowing people